All right, I'm going to talk about the settings on my GoPro Black 7, Hero Black 7. This is what I use doing my uh, live digs. I want to show you my settings I have. It's pretty basic. It's uh, pretty much the settings that just came out of the box. But there's not too many videos. Uh, how to set up a GoPro for uh, filming for metal detecting. This is what this is for. This is what this video is going to be about. So, oh yeah, this is what I use. This part, I uh, mount it to the view of my hat. So I just stick it on the bill of my hat. I use a carrot around in my pouch. When I get a, a good target, I put it out of my take it out of my pouch and put it on the bill of my hat when I get a good target. So I can start digging it live. So I'm gonna take it out of this bracket. I uh been been using this. I guess I bought, I purchased this, uh, I believe it was uh, November 2019, it's my newest camera. Uh, before that, I've been using a um, regular camera, just carrying it around with me. On my older videos, if you look at my older videos, I didn't do too many live digs. It's basically, when I dig up something good, I break out the camera and start talking about it on the spot where I dug it anyway yeah this is a hero 7 black GoPro all right I'm gonna turn it on and show you the settings all right this is what I film 1080 and um, 30 frames per second. I want to apologize if you hear noises around because I'm recording outside. It's impossible for me to record inside my house. I got grandkids, dogs in every room. So, <laughs> so I'm outside. Anyway, I'm... Uh, film in 1080 30 30 means uh, 30 frames per second if I tap on it and uh, it's my settings in widescreen uh, if I click on this oh nope not that not auto yes alright that's 1080 you can go up click on this Right. Well, right, that's 30 frames per second. If I record, if I want to record into, um, if I want to record a clip where I want it to slow mo it, I bump it up to 1080. I mean, not 1080, uh, 120 frames per second. But I usually do all my filming in 30 frames per second as of right now and if you click on 1080 you can record up to 4k but I usually just keep it in 1080 oh let me uh, go back you also see this part right up at the top corner make sure you want to film 16.9 that gives you the widescreen. You can tap on it. Can't get it to focus. And I can't. Alright, if you tap on it, it'll go to like 4.3. You don't want to record that. If you record in that, you would have black bars on the side of your screen <laughs> on your video. So make sure you put it. 16.9 and also I have um, the hyper smooth uh, stabilization on so it won't be a shaking 
as much, shaky as much. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me go back out. All right, let me go back into this. <laughs> Alright, I got my shutter on auto, uh, white balance on auto, it's mostly basic, sharpness on high, I got my color of my, my filming on GoPro, I don't like edit the, uh, the color of my video so I just leave it on GoPro, it's pretty much basic. That's it. Uh, raw audio. I think that's for uh, for audio track for your video. I just keep it on off. Uh, what else? If you swipe down, you pop. And I got on voice can man, voice control. So usually I just attach it to my head and, and I can hit GoPro start. I don't want to say it. it might well since it's in this platform, I can say GoPro start recording and see. <laughs> All right, uh, GoPro stop recording. So that's what happened when you say it in voice command. Let me go back. And I always got my beeping on. Hard to see. All right, there you go. It's better. Um, I'm not sure what all these are. I can have my screen on lockdown if I want, but no. Nah, I'm not sure with what the, the rabbit symbol is. Um, I don't ever use it. That's the, you know, just the performance. But yeah, that's basically what I use on my GoPro when I uh, go metal attacking. So I just want you to guys, want you guys to know about know what I use and how I got my GoPro set up and stuff. Yeah, as you can see, I'm sitting in the back of my trailer, <laughs> um, in my backyard, up under a lane too, cause it can start raining. And I don't want to be caught out in the rain. It's supposed to rain any second now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So this is my settings on the GoPro. If you would hang on, I will show you what I will I will use. The, the camera I've been using for about five or six years I've been using. So I'm getting ready to show you that camera now. Okay, this is the camera I used to record all my finds back in the day. Canon type camera <laughs> uh, SX 600 SH with um, 18 times zoom in power <laughs> it's not a touch screen so I had to use all these buttons over here to uh, to operate it but yeah this was uh, the old camera I use. I bought this probably about six, I think it's five or six years ago. And also, I also take my photos with this camera. And this is my phone I use. It's an old LG. I had this phone about five years. So, I also take pictures and I, a couple videos. I uploaded was using this phone for my uh, videos not the best quality not up to date but it's what it is <laughs> but yeah this is the camera I use to take photos and I use this camera to do my wrap-up so that's my uh, filming equipment <laughs> just want to let everybody know about it so uh, I hope this helps to what to use with uh, recording 
for going metal detecting, making um, metal detecting videos. So, uh, yeah. That's about all I got to say. <laughs>